what's going on on YouTube? It's been like almost a month since I made my last video. Sorry, like like I said, life just keeps kicking my ass, but I'm getting back up every time. But uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff happened, a lot of stuff going through. Uh, it's a lot of bullshit. Um, so I wanted to make this video because I had quite a few people ask and when I made the post, probably about a little, about a month ago, uh, I got a lot of, sorry, stupid fly in here, I got a lot of uh, really positive feedback and awesome uh, just compliments and everything about the uh, the 93 Prelude SI um, and a lot of questions. Uh, as I do have a lot of videos, I've been linking you guys up with the questions. I have a lot more I'm going to be doing, a lot more parts put on, including a Euro R H22 swap with LSD transmission. I've been sitting around for almost two years now. That's how uh, crazy it's been. Some of you guys might see the CRV in the background too. That is my new 99 five speed. Uh, obviously it's a little bit, about, about 10,000 more miles than my last one, uh, my white one. And I'm gonna go over that and I actually got another CRV too. So it'll be a lot more CRV content, but that will be for another video that'll be coming after this. Um, so as you guys know, I got hit in this in a little earlier in, in May of this year and a little background on that I'm not gonna go too crazy in depth uh, but I got hit in May right after I tore it all apart put all the suspension on traction bar a bunch of stuff and uh, I wasn't fully where I wanted to be to stop but I was enough to make it to the show and as you guys know too I had a set of work equips uh, ones uh, that I had been waiting forever to put on that were custom made and I finally got those on. I was very excited. Uh, I had the car uh, lined at one of our local dealerships that's big into uh, big into uh, racing and, and big into just automotive scene, the Subaru uh, dealership here in town, Schulte Subaru, a big shout out to them and their crew. They had, uh, I mean, I even sat in the car and balanced my weight while they aligned it and everything. It, it was it was great. I got in the car and it felt like it was on rails. It was amazing. Other than I don't have a front motor mount on it because the traction bar and then the motor mount I have, the Innovation one actually did not fit. It fit like shit. So I'm going to have to do some mocking up to make it fit. Or finally, just once I swap, put my Hasport motor mounts in, I shouldn't need the front motor mount. Uh, because I won't be running more than you know, it, it's they're rated for 300 horsepower I think and up so I should be okay uh, Down the road might be different but again I've wanted this car more as a daily driver with a little bit of you know balls and have some fun But I don't want it to be insane. I want I want it to be able to jump in and enjoy it um, all, all around but Anyways, I got hit if you guys saw the video lady was turning into my lane literally came to a stop uh, off the off ramp and then saw me and tried to beat me and just hammered it. Came close to me, kind of swore back and then just hammered right into me. Uh, I controlled the car as I'm getting pushed off the road from getting any worse, had my daughter in the car. Insane, completely fucking ridiculous the way they fought this and because South Dakota has some BS laws since there was no uh, traffic cameras and they had a witness that was in their same town going to the same game, kids were on the same not the same team, but within the hockey group, all this bullshit. And apparently he was going the other way. Uh, just didn't make sense. And uh, to be honest with you, uh, my insurance company, they wouldn't allow me to put full coverage on it because it's older than 20 years. Some companies won't do that. So I'm searching for a new company. Uh, so I kind of got fucked there. And of course, because they didn't have to pay anything out and they didn't really want to do anything. The guy I had acted like he was my best friend, but it was full of shit. Didn't really want to do anything really to, to, to help me out. Uh, and then of course the other company, uh, we ended up only getting like 1700 bucks because my daughter was in the car and they were like, oh, for chiropractor visits, any doctor visits, because of course we had it checked up, which wasn't even fucking enough. Uh, could have fought it longer, but if you guys follow me, I was going through heart problems. I literally thought I had been told by the doctor that I may not have much time to live even into my 40s and I'm in my late 30s right now. So my whole world was turned upside down. I was not feeling good. Turns out I had a completely collapsed artery again after having the triple bypass. They had to put the biggest um, stint they could in a four millimeter stint. Um, 
and just threw my whole uh, life kind of upside down, career change, everything uh, has happened since then, since my last video you guys saw. And uh, fighting with the insurance is the last thing I wanted to do, although I wish I did. And a lawyer was too expensive because I didn't have receipts of uh, some of the stuff I did to the car. So I only had proof of some of the receipts. And they were like, well, if we don't have proof enough of, you know, how much you put into it, which was close to $22,000 or something like that before I even got hit. And uh, they were like, well, if, if we win, you're going to end up owing us more than half of that. So it really didn't come out to benefit me at all. I really got screwed in this whole situation, which lesson learned, uh, totally different approach. The car is for the season because the wheel is down. Uh, if you guys noticed uh, and paid attention, you would have saw the damaged wheel completely fucked up my wheel. Um, thank God the rest of the car is okay. And I ended up having to sell my 94 and use it as parts for uh, this. So it just threw my whole world upside down, sold some of my projects, and just medical on top of that. So basically, to sum it all up, I really got fucked over on this whole situation. And... Uh, Either way, I got the car back, and I want to say a huge shout out to my father because um, I've never really asked him for much. Um, we always joke and stuff like that, but seriously, I've always tried to do everything I can to never fall on, on my father's uh, footsteps. My mother isn't quite there the same way, um, so I, I just talk to him and vent to him, and uh, he's always been like my rock throughout everything other than my wife. And sorry, it's a super hot day. We got fucking cow field outside, so flies are all got in here as soon as I opened the garage. Um, but uh, he reached out to me and he was like, "Hey, I, I, I wanna, I wanna get this for you." And I, I was like, "What do you, what do you mean? Just a little bit?" Or, "All right, how, how am I gonna pay you back? What's the payment plan?" I had some money saved up from selling the cars, but I needed to grab another car because I was changing jobs, losing my work truck, and my wife needed a new car. Because the Acura MDX just starts pissing oil everywhere. Power steering went out. The main pressure hose went bad. The AC went out. Like everything on the MDX kind of broke around the same time. So um, I can fix it, but didn't really have time, especially with uh, healing. So he reached out to me and he was like, hey, I, ever, after everything you want to do, plus this is around my birthday time and, and everything, he's like, I just, I want to do this for you. You know, don't, don't even worry about it. Just, you know. Let me know how much it costs and get. I'm like, well, it's gonna be around like three thousand bucks. Turned out being like thirty-seven and change. Uh, and um, my, if it wasn't for my father, I wouldn't have those CRVs right there and stuff like that right now. And it just was uh, tremendously amazing uh, and really, really helped me out in a moment uh, that I desperately needed because things have been very tough with all the medical. So if, if you guys are watching. If you can, you know, if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe, hit a like, any of that will help, you know, uh, anything, you know, I'm taking care of myself, two kids, my wife, and trying to do these projects and, you know, have a little bit of fun, especially with my condition, because there is uh, medicine I take and things that I do that it, it just is going to, unfortunately, the truth is, is shorten, you know, my, my life or my ability to be able to do some of the things I do because of the uh, side effects of the medicine. So, um, sorry, these flies, I hate flies and they drive me nuts. Um, as soon as you open a garage over here, they, they get in from those fields. Um, but yeah, I wanna walk around and show it. It looks beautiful. I'm waiting on the wheel, of course, because it's a custom made wheel. It is six to eight months to wait on the work Equipo one with the gold, uh, rivets that I did and everything in the four by one, you know, 114. So that really sucks. Uh, so I really got to wait on that. But um, I'm just super thankful to have this thing back in my possession. I can't wait to start having some time to work on it. Really hoping this winter I can have it on some jack stands and start ripping it apart for some good things and finally getting in stuff I've had for over two years on it. Same thing with the CRB. Uh, but let's check it out, guys. I'll swap this around. This is a new new to me. Uh, but yeah, there she is. Um, bumper I'm not going to get repainted to. I, I get an OEM bumper that has uh, a good left tab. That's why those Pastor JDM quick releases are on it. So if anybody has an OEM bumper where all the tabs are good, bumper is good, and you're willing to ship it the right way in a big box 
foaming up really good for me. Take care of her. I will definitely talk with you on price and work with you, depending if you're willing to do that. Uh, and then once that happens, I'm going to have the front end repainted. And then, of course, I'm getting the whole thing ceramic coated. Uh, still waiting on is a guy that's making window uh, seals. So I'm waiting for him. He says he's going to do the, the front, the sides. I already got a rear from him, so I can't wait. But here's the side. There is something going on with it. So I got to hit up my paint guy. Uh, it does look like down here, if you see, you might not be able to see it, but there's some spots along here, right down there. That looks like the buffing didn't come out right and there's uh, a bit of a cut in the side skirt. I got to try to buff that out. It's plastic, so I be careful. But if anybody has an OEM side skirt in perfect shape, I'm talking tabs, everything, let me know. And then there's a, a scratch or cut right here. I, I brought this thing and parked it, so I have no clue how that happened. I don't know if maybe it's coming through, you know, just because paint didn't settle all the way. I got to talk to my paint guy about that. And, of course, we'll work something out and get it fixed somehow. But other than that, everything else looks beautiful. You can see the door matches up good. Everything closes well. I mean, he did a, an amazing job. And, of course, you know, the OEM wheel, I can't wait till that, you know, goes away. But uh, I cleaned it all up. I can't wait to have this thing ceramic coated and done in H22 swapped with the Euro R and LSD transmission. I, I just can't wait. I even have a turbo kit for it, but... That'll be, probably be a little bit down the road. I want to enjoy this in stages and really document it. But, uh, of course, Aldo Ranger did my JDM headlights. He custom did the smoke amber and the black and the yellow there. And I have yellow bulbs. I did the yellow fog lights, the JDM ones. Those are yellow glass. I cleaned them all up. It's a first molding carbon fiber lip. I have, like I said, videos on all this, guys. Um, you know, documenting it talking about it even some installs interior is pretty basic you know uh spoon wheel on there it's the spoon momo wheel that they did um custom made shift boot um prelude plates custom made uh jason makes those i can also link him in, in, in it and the interior for the most part is pretty stock other i did do a 92 center console which I might switch back, but I like the, uh, I really like the extra space, but now that the kids are getting bigger and they sit back there sometimes, it actually is more cramped. And the engine isn't too much. Um, it is, it is uh, basically, you know, stock other than a header, full NVIDIA in one, catback exhaust, Megan Racing test pipe, um, OEM valve cover. I had paint matched, uh, some NGK iridium spark plugs, AM short ram intake, Mugen strut bar, or not sorry, sorry, not Mugen, I wish God, uh, Megan strut bars, front and rear and tie bar, password JDM, uh, fuse box cover, Mishimoto radiator. A lot of people ask about this BB Alliance, check them out. Uh, it's just a you know, radiator cooling plate, I guess you'd say, fill in. Uh, not too much, a lot. There's a lot coming. Um, you know, fender washers. These are also BB Alliance uh, radiator hold downs. And I did a fifth gen uh, fan shroud kit, which you can custom make as long as you move the uh, the mounting brackets. But all in all, it's uh, it's a wonderful BB2. I wish I had a BB1, uh, of course. But this one's a Canadian model with the heated mirrors and you know just it was clean i think i'm the third owner if i remember right and uh i've just done some stuff too of course i have most of the oem part suspensions completely done uh but you guys can see that in other videos i'm not going to go over everything um and yeah motor i can't wait to get done I'm a little bit more on the body not really changing much i really enjoy the oem look the oem plus look i guess say spoon lug nuts um yeah so i mean things more things will come over time but uh yeah that, that's it guys i'm just happy to have her back she's in good shape and uh running well and uh yeah stay tuned for more and more videos thank you for everybody for the positive remarks and getting it back and i'm just happy to have her home all right youtube you guys have a good one